Hi, everyone. It's uh, me again, Pastor Jonathan Bernardo, joining you in your uh, weekly walk with the Lord uh, with this edition of the GCF, Feel we uh, GCF Weekly Field Talk. And as we do, again, uh, it's just a reminder that we are your fellow sojourners in, uh, in your commitment to uh, study and meditate on God's Word. And in this week, we are taken to a, uh, a brief passage in Daniel chapter 2, verse verses 20 to 21. And let me just uh, read that so that uh, we know the text that we're dealing with. And it says here, Praise be to the name of God forever and ever. Wisdom and power are His. He changes times and seasons. He deposes kings and raises up others. Why don't I give a context first of this passage so that you can clearly see where it's coming from. This is at the beginning, uh, early chapters of the book of Daniel. And we know, of course, at this point, uh, Daniel was con confronted with the responsibility of having to explain the dream of King Nebuchadnezzar. And if he's unable to do so, then he would r risk uh, being uh, executed along with his friends for his inability to in interpret the dreams. And his coming off a uh, previous night engaged in a lot of prayer. And in the morning, he wakes up. And, having, and God having revealed to him exactly what the dream uh, meant. And so he, came, he comes out, of, obviously, with a lot of praises and thanksgiving. And having said this, I just want to focus on one particular portion of this praise and his thanksgiving that, that he attributes to God in worship. And it says there, he changes times and seasons. We have a lot of things that are changing in our world today. Uh, Especially, especially through this pandemic. And I know it feels like most of us who are stuck at home, having to work from home, study from home, feels like nothing has changed so much. But on the contrary, things are changing. The landscape of our world is shifting. Uh, political uh, powers are shifting according to uh, how this pandemic is moving along. And uh, people's lives are changing. Careers are changing. Jobs are changing. With the losses of jobs and gaining new jobs, career opportunities coming up, we are always dealing with changes. But Daniel reinforces the fact that it is God who is the authority behind this change. He is the true change champion in our lives. So there's two things we can learn from this to give us some perspective of, of how do we manage meaningful change in our lives. Every change is meaningful, as long as we know for sure who is initiating these changes. Because changes are not done for the sake of change. They are being done to point us to a certain direction. In fact, to point us to a person. And you are well reminded of a popular verse in scripture that says, Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So this particular passage points to Christ himself. But let's step back a bit and, and see what this means for us. Because God here is proclaimed by Daniel as the one who is in charge of changing times and seasons. We need to make sure that we can adjust to those changes. So, so changes are seasons, circumstances in our lives that we might, must learn to adjust to knowing that God is using it for our own good and benefit. We need to be flexible. We need to make sure that we have the right spirit within us in order to have the right perspective for change so that we can manage it in a very healthy way. The second thing that I want to focus on is that we need to trust God for those changes. If in fact we credit him as the one who changes times and seasons, he's orchestrating stuff right? We're not puppets for sure, but he has given us the environment by which we can learn about him and get closer to him as these uh, times change. It certainly changed for Daniel, having been moved to Babylon, having been displaced from his home uh, country or his home location, and now having to deal with a new role, a new challenge in his life as young as he is. So he recognized that and he gives credit to God for all of these changes. So he has learned to adjust himself in these changing times. He has learned to trust God and God has not taken him in a harmful place. As we all know from the story of Daniel all throughout his life until the time of his passing. 
So I hope you're encouraged by that. If you're dealing with a change that seems insurmountable, overwhelming, or in fact, incredibly frustrating. Maybe step back a bit. Do the same as Daniel did, a man of prayer, who whenever the seasons of changes happen in his life, he's always in a mood and attitude of prayer. His knees are always broken. His knees are always bent in order to recognize God for who he is, the one who catalyzes changes, the one who champions changes in our lives so that we are pointed to Christ, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And because he is that, we can trust him for everything that happens to us. I hope you've been blessed by this short devotion this week. God bless you, and let's remain connected to the Lord and to each other in prayer. God bless you.